Hi, I'm Mr. Pullman, and today we'll be covering over the key features within a scroll saw and how to use them safely. With the scroll saw, it's very much like a bandsaw. The only difference is that the blade is a lot uh, smaller in size, and we, uh, it actually just goes up and down as if you were going to be using a handsaw or a hacksaw going back and forth. What's really important with the, uh, with the saw is that before using it, you want to make sure that the blade is securely fastened within here. So what we've actually got is a uh, blade cap or a blade clamp thumb screw right here on the top and at the bottom. So when it comes time to actually installing it, you'll put it in there and then you'll tighten it down. Most of the time your teacher will already have this set up for you. What's another key feature that you need to make sure of is that you actually use the uh, material hold down device right here, which is what I just lifted up. All right. What you can do is using another uh, thumb cap screw is you loosen it on the left side and it raises up and down. Adjust this to the thickness of the material that you plan on cutting. This way you don't have to worry about it jumping up and down in case it catches within the blade. So I'll set it right back down all the way. All right. <clears throat> You've got the upper arm back here. All right. This is the part that will be moving up and down and it is attached to a motor back here. You can adjust the speed of this uh, back on the top black dial right here. But this one's marked off uh, at number two with the little green mark. So for the most part, I think you're gonna leave it at two, but also check with your teacher first before you actually adjust the speed. Uh, right next to the speed adjustment dial is an actual power switch on off, and you just on off, make sure it's plugged in, and it'll go up and down. You've also got um, your table, which is right here, and you've got uh, you know mounting holes, you don't have to worry about that with the stand, but pretty much pay attention to the uh, material uh, material hold down, you've got your table on off power switch, you've got your speed cap up here, your upper arm, uh, again the cap screws to tighten, uh, fasten them down. You've also got the blade tensioner. Again, this is another thing that your teacher should have already set up and what you can do is making sure that the uh, blade has the right amount of tension in order to cut through the material. Uh, it's You'd use this. Uh, lever right here. And that really concludes the main parts of a uh, scroll saw. One more safety tip is that you want to make sure that whenever you're using it, just like the bandsaw, you want to keep your fingers, thumbs, any body part away from the direct line of the blade. You always want to keep them two inches to the sides. Alright? And that concludes how to use a scroll saw and the key parts.